Open the image of interest using ImageJ software. The first step is to split the channels of the image. At this point, the green channel can be disregarded. Select the blue channel DAPI and adjust the threshold until all the nuclei are red in color with a black background. Once adjusted, select Apply. To separate the nuclei from one another, click on Process, Binary, and Watershed. Now, the nuclei are separated from one another. Select all the nuclei by clicking on Edit, Selection, and Create Selection. Save this image as Selection. Rename the file and save it with a .roi extension. Now, this window can be closed. Select the red channel and duplicate the image since we require two images, one for analyzing the nuclear intensity, for instance, the right-hand side image, and the other for cytoplasmic staining intensity, for instance, the left-hand side image. Adjust the threshold in both of these images such that the foreground is completely red in color with a dark background. Once the threshold is set, select the right-hand side image and open the nucleus.roi file that was saved earlier. Now the nuclei are selected. Repeat the same step for the left-hand side image. To measure the red fluorescence intensity in the nuclei, first select the image and click on edit and clear outside. For the cytoplasmic red fluorescence intensity analysis, first click on edit and click clear. To perform the intensity analysis, click on analyze and set measurements. In this window, select all the parameters required such as area, integrated density, and mean gray value. Select the option Limit to Threshold and then click OK. To measure the mean fluorescence intensity of the nuclei, click on Analyze and Measure. In the Results window, the area, mean intensity, and integrated density is displayed. For measuring the cytoplasmic staining intensity, select the image and click on Edit, Selection, and create selection. Now, all the cytoplasmic areas are selected, excluding the nuclei areas. Click on Analyze and Measure. The area and the other results are displayed for the cytoplasmic staining. Now, let us measure the staining intensities of a single cell. Open the image of interest. Split the channels of the image like before. Let us select one of the nuclei, that is, the DAPI staining from the right-hand side and its corresponding cytoplasmic staining in the left-hand side. Adjust the threshold of the nucleus until the foreground is red in color and then click Apply. Select the one tool from above and select the nucleus of interest. Now, save this image by creating a selection. Rename the file and click Save. This window can be closed. To perform the nucleus and cytoplasmic staining intensities, we require two images. Therefore, duplicate the image to create a replica. Remove the nucleus area in the left-hand side of the image to calculate only the cytoplasmic area staining intensity. To select this single cell, Use the freehand tool from above and mark the edges of the cells. Adjust the threshold of both the images such that the threshold value remains the same. To select the area of the nucleus, select the image and click on File, Open and select the nucleus.roi file. Clear the rest of the images outside the selection by clicking on Edit and Clear Outside. Similarly, the cells 
other than the selected cell can be cleared for selecting the cytoplasmic area. Measure the staining intensity of the nucleus by selecting Analyze and Measure. The results are shown for the nucleus staining intensity. To measure the cytoplasmic staining intensity, first deselect the current selection by clicking on Edit, Selection and Select None. To select only the cytoplasmic area, click on Edit, Selection and Create Selection. Now the cytoplasmic staining intensity is ready to be measured. Click on Analyze and Measure. The results can be found in the results window. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more such videos.